One of the things I know you talk about is a research that was done by Oxford University and British Telecom. Can, can you share some of the conclusions there? Oh, I have to remember which which research that was because I have seen so much research on on the the link between happiness uh, and well being and productivity. Um, I, I remember one last one that one recent study I saw was the difference in retention rates, for example, that that. In a company where there was uh, toxic leadership, the amount of retention wasn't very great. And, and in fact, there was a lot of dropout thanks to burnout and all those kind of things. And the difference was, I think, something between a 51% dropout in a toxic environment versus somewhere around 10 or 12 percent in a non-toxic environment i could be wrong with the, with the exact figures but it was it was it was huge it was right it was order huge that difference. right yeah the, the, the uh, research that i'm i'm referencing just to refresh your memory uh says workers are 13 percent more productive when they're happy yes right which leads so, to uh, when people are feeling like they're achieving more at work and they're being recognized for their work. That's more than just being recognized for your work. It's actually, it's actually far more being recognized for who you are. And, you know, you are a valuable person. Yes. I like that as one of the definitions of empathy, right? That everyone's just a person trying to do their best. <laughs> yes, but, but I mean... But the, the, maybe also one of one of the the reasons I uh, I really like focusing far more on empathy and emotion is this whole idea of motivation. Um, I believe that if you line up with people's emotions, you do not have to motivate them at all. They are already motivated, and just knowing where their motivation is is the only thing you need to know. Sure. Absolutely. 